I know the real question is, um, you know, you have the GoPro Hero 7 with Hyper Smooth. Why do you even need a mobile gimbal these days? And that's a very valid question. I got this smooth mobile gimbal for the phone. It was one of those like I saw it on Instagram and I just wanted to buy it and try it out with my phone. Seeing if it can make my life easier making videos for you guys. Comes in this, uh, this like a gun. They have this little tripod that they, they bring with it. So plug this in and uh, I guess yeah, we'll be back in like five seconds. So only if you feel like it, hit that subscribe button and uh, click the bell for notifications. All right, there we go. It's green. That means it's charged up. All right, that's pretty good. Now, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you wanted to see differences between just a handheld GoPro Hero 7 and like a gimbal for your phone. How am I going to do this? So I'm just going to, yeah, I'll just do, I'll just be doing something like this. So I'm going to take this to the top deck and I'm also going to take it through some of the hallways because I want to test it with low lighting. Let's find out which one's better and uh, see what happens. So, so I'm going to show you this in a few ways. There's the GoPro view, the gimbal view, and both side by side. Right off the bat and side by side, you really notice that the gimbal has a lot more stability. The GoPro does an amazing job at keeping it smooth. Having that wide angle is nice, but the fact that you can zoom in on the phone and get a tighter shot, yet it's still stable, that's a nice feature. Now this is just casually walking not necessarily trying to be smooth. But let's pick up the pace a little and walk faster. And now let's run a little. I do notice some small shakes on the gimbal, but I think that's from the image stabilizer on the phone. So now I've attached the wide angle to the phone. And you can see that in the lower lighting, the phone does a much better job. But when you have the cameras facing a subject, the GoPro does a really good job. Now this was interesting. I'm not sure if it's because I was moving sideways or if it was the lighting, but notice the GoPro has a lot more jumps. There we go. Um, in all honesty, I, I look at the footage and I think it's safe to say that both things have great value to them. Um, to me, I think that I would find myself using this more for my travel vlogs. Definitely one of my favorite cameras and I'm finding more and more ways to make it a better overall vlogging camera, which I'll get to all that stuff in future videos. Moral of the story is I like this better than this, but at the same time, this is going to be very useful. I think that's, uh, that's where I'm at. What do you think in the comments? I'll see you guys uh, next time, very soon. More ship videos, some, oh, I can't wait to show you what's gonna happen next. I got so much cool stuff happening this year. All right, see ya, bye. So like every Tech Day Tuesday video, I wanna do a creator shout out. Shout out! This week I wanna shout out to Ripping Lip Fishing. Where is Danny Black's shout out? His videos are good and helpful. He's got a couple of reviews on GoPros and stuff on there. He's actually a young YouTuber and he looks like he's doing pretty well. So check him out, links in the description. If you're a creator and you wanna be on a shout out for a Tech Day Tuesday video, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to check out your stuff. And uh, we'll see where this goes, I don't know. All right. Thanks for watching and here's another chance to subscribe. Also, if you wanna see more live stream stuff, well, check out my live stream channel. If you wanna watch another tech video, check this one out.